Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, been away for a while, super busy. Um, we've just been changing a few things around. I've been doing a lot of CAD work, that sort of thing. Um, just trying to expand my um, product range that I'm able to get laser cut and potentially laser cut and folded. Uh, as you can see behind me, this is the first 1280 that I've just stuck together. Um, I've been focusing mostly on the CAD. I haven't had a chance to catch up on many nozzles. That was something that I really needed to be getting onto. Um, I've got the last lot of parts turn up um, just the other day. Uh, these for the next set's going to be the straight type. Um, I did have more turn up, but it was um, actually the male, male, female type. So um, no good for what I'm doing. I do have a couple that I'm throwing into some that were on the list from a little while back, but I'm still trying to get through those. Hopefully I get a few more done today so I can chuck them in. Um, I've got one more of these that has got to, I think that's the last one to go out to a customer and I'm just about caught up on these. I think there's another two or something behind. Um, but I'm mainly going to be doing the straight ones for now just because of uh, the fact that I don't have that much time to get into things. Um, I really need to get this one finishing out of the way. Right behind it, I've got an 8080 to be done. That's what I'm finishing up the CAD work on. There's a few little tweaks that I need to make uh, before I can send those away to get um, CNC cut and folded. Uh, like this one, it's just sped up my process so much and um, I've got enough orders now to justify it. Um, it does cut heavily into the profits, but um, that's not really the biggest problem because I don't have the time to do them by hand anyway. Um, so it, it's better to, to take the hit on those profits and to get them turning over a lot faster to hopefully build up and um, be able to supply a lot more. And over time, potentially, if I can do bulk orders of everything, maybe even knock the price down slightly, which um, I'm hoping I'm able to do. Um, but we'll just see how that goes with um, the, the price increases in some of the materials. Um, so I might be winning on one end, but I'm losing on another end. Um, so I've just got to see what, what I can do to balance it out and try and keep the product as good as I can, um, but also make it as accessible as possible. Um, this video, however, is just a bit of a teaser for something else I'm working on. Um, this gets maybe an hour here or there put in. I needed to do some testing uh, to send away some air control circuits to suit one of those, uh, those model cabinets. SBC 90, SBC 100. Um, but for now, I just want to quickly tease it. If I just turn this around, what I'm doing is it was working well. Um, I believe it was that side there. Yeah, this side here um, was with no pump. But I've gone and found a pump and I'm messing around with the uh, agitation side of things. And that's where I've managed to get this through. It's a bit slow at the moment. But if I just quickly have a look through there, you can see the top of the pump sitting in there. Um, I've been playing around with a few things to try and get agitation to work a little bit better. But if I just quickly turn that on. Tiny little pump, um, but you can see it's it blows all the material up here. So I have to change, build a little bit of a shroud or something um, underneath. But as you can see, the flow is pretty good. Um, yeah, see, there's a little bit of media in there. I need to increase the, me the amount of media in there, um, change the way the pump locates, uh, and just try to make it so that it's um, a little easier to get it to pick up media properly. Um, so, just a really simple little 12 volt pump, and ideally, I'll be able to put these kits through. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in there at all now. Yeah, it's not too bad. So otherwise the light's shining directly at the camera and you won't be able to see. So again, 3D printed nozzle. Um, on these smaller setups, those seem to be a lot more efficient and work a lot better uh, than the brass, but I have managed to get the brass nozzle a little bit more improved um, to work as a, um, a siphon only gun without a pump in these type of cabinets. So um, I'm hoping to be able to do some form of kit um, that can be sent anywhere in the world something that's a little bit more transportable um, but ideally i'll be able to send out um, a pumping system nozzle air control circuit um, and potentially even a, a collapsible light system um, so then all that's really left to do is uh just to seal them up properly um, and put on a better vent like i've got there um, 
so I may be able to 3D print something to fit um, some standard down piping sort of thing um, to fit on there and of course I'll be throwing some gloves in um, to replace the standard ones um, but I can just plug that back in it's come right out now it's all sort of jerry rigged together at the moment I haven't um, put on any switches or wired it up properly yeah, here we go So good flow, tiny little pump, I don't know how long they'll last, but they're cheap enough, they can be replaced quite easily, so um, the idea will be to have a control box, everything will plug in together, um, you'll be able to uh, take out the standard um, the siphon pickup, and then um, we'll have a pumping system that'll fit in place, and then everything else will plug out and wire in properly, um, and I'm just trying to get under the light there, a little bit better. Yeah, see. So I think once I manage to get the agitation uh, to work properly, um, then that will solve that. One other thing uh, on the 3D printed guns, um, I had this question out of Portugal. Um, if I can take that off there, I think, I'm not sure where I put the other gun now. Uh, here we are, here I think. That's it. And I'll just take that. For argument's sake, that's too small, but it'll demonstrate what I need it to uh, for now. But 3D printed guns. Um, I had a query um, out of Portugal. Um, I had a couple of requests as well. The brass nozzles that I've been using, uh, sorry, the brass hose barbs that I've been using, are a lot smaller than the types that people seem to be getting from around the world. Um, so I was asked first of all from a guy out of the States and then from a guy in Portugal um, to make the gap a little bit wider. So um, I've done that, they've printed it, they seem to think that it, it looks good, at least the guy in Portugal said it looks good, they fit much better, um, feel quite good in the hand. But he also wanted to know whether or not I could make one and send it to him that used these pink nozzles. Um, I think I mentioned the original video but I'm not 100% sure. They're actually designed uh, with a step on the inside of them. Um, so this nozzle here will actually fit very similarly to, if I fit this in like that, very similarly to that. So that won't stick out as far, it's a little stubby, but that's that measurement is essentially the same. So that can be dropped, uh, actually if that's the right size, there are two sizes of the pink, pink ceramics. Um, so whether or not it fits in properly, yeah, it seems to. And then, sorry, a little hard to do one-handed. It's got it, and that'll screw in like that. So all that retainer is, uh, is I've got one of these cheap hose barbs, just like that, and all I did was I cut the barb off it and then I drilled the hole out so the hole um, was the same size as this so the pink ceramic just slips directly through it now and then um, the 3d printed gun will accept the ceramic tips um, and the spacing on them is is pretty much the same so that'll work um, work pretty much as well as with the plastic so that's just something i wanted to update um, i still get a few emails um, every now and again asking where where to get these um, so you can either buy them i'll print them here and send them or if you're somewhere on the other side of the world and you've got someone who has access to a uh, 3d printer then you can just download the files and 3d print them there's a, a pretty sure i left a uh like a, a text file there that had the settings that I printed it on um, and I've had plenty of sales I've had maybe one person or maybe two people uh, had a, issues trying to get them to to fit together um, one of them ended up being an issue with their software with Cura that they were using um, and the other one was just having issues with the 3D printer in the end. But every, everything else as far as I'm aware they've been able to print out and use. Um, the only other thing is if you intend on using them with the um, with the brass, um, I'm pretty sure in the original text file I mentioned that 
um, the body should be printed at 100% and then 97% on the, uh, the fittings. If you want to use brass fittings, then print the tip um, at 100% and then the body at say 102 or 103 percent and then you'll be able to use the the regular brass hose barbs so my brass hose barbs will fit in the standard file um, but i'm i'm gonna have to upload into that file uh, a new one that includes um, the the chunkier model um, so bear in mind the chunkier model has not yet been tested by myself um, it's only been printed by a couple of other people that i know of but i'll be checking with them uh, with them shortly to see how they're functioning and if they seem to function fine um, i'll put them up and then i'll eventually get around to printing uh, my own and testing them out um, so there's the update it ended up being a little bit longer than i thought it was going to um, but that gives you a bit of an update of where i'm at what i'm doing um, and where i want to be moving within the next uh, couple of months um, priority is still getting those cabinets done but i am trying to shift my business model um, so that I can turn those over quicker and easier and then go back to focusing on some development. Um, so I know a lot of people out there have projects on the run. Um, I've had plenty of emails. Um, so if you have something that's a little bit more complex, it maybe needs a better explanation um, than I've been able to give over email or something, send me a message and within the next couple of months, I may be able to put together a quick video um, just to give a better uh, illustration of what I've been talking about. Um, other than that, the focus and development at this stage will be on putting together a conversion kit for this type of cabinet uh, with a pump so it speeds up uh, the work. Um, so, yep, thanks for sticking around and watching. A little bit boring this time, just as, a, as an update and a bit of a teaser. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay safe.